Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Saws, Nikon, Ozonix, Redneck Blinds, RTP Outdoors, Spot Hog Releases, Wasp Archery, and Realtree. Well, for you guys that don't know me, I'm a trail camera junkie. This time of year is always exciting finding these bucks back. We're starting to find a few of them from last year. Here's a three-year-old that we've got right here. This was his two-year-old sheds, but he's three-year-old this year, and he's made a pretty good jump. Uh, that's one thing we're noticing. You know, last winter, early spring, we talked about that harsh winter we had, how that was going to affect antler growth this year. We thought they may be down 25% or so, and we're just not seeing that. At least I'm not here in Iowa. So that, uh, you know, I've seen mild winters actually where the antler growth was was worse than it is this year. Everything's made a pretty good jump. So, you know, that's interesting. Does that mean there's enough food in Iowa if you have a good spring and, and summer that they can overcome any winter if they don't die? I don't know, but uh, it's interesting just to keep watching that and, and see how that plays out. But that's the worst winter I can remember. And every buck has made a jump that I would expect for a mild winter. They've all increased in size substantially the ones that I figured would. Now some of them are maxed out on size and they're, they're the same or, or maybe a little smaller or something like that. But for the most part, they've all made good jumps. We've got this buck here we found back. This is a five-year-old buck. This is one we call Brutus. We've got pictures of him, just a few though. He's, uh, he's kind of camera shy, but we do have a few pictures of him. Uh, we've got this one. This is another five-year-old this year we call Light Switch. He's definitely on the list this year. Nice looking deer. Of course, most of you guys know Picket Fence. Let's see. His sheds from last year are these two right here. That's what he looked like last year. Now this year he's got a 6x6 six six frame instead of a 6x5 frame, but he lost this extra kicker beam or whatever you want to call it. But overall, frame-wise, he's quite a bit nicer, so it'll be fun chasing him. All right, so I need help naming this buck right here. If you would, leave comments in the comment section, YouTube or Midwest Whitetail. Uh, Realtree365, I think you can comment on there as well. Um, and whoever I choose, the name that I pick, you guys will be getting free hat, free t-shirt, and a free sweatshirt. So throw your comments in there, and whoever we choose, you'll get some free stuff. The other thing we're gonna do this evening was we're gonna go out and set a couple of bean fields Alpha Alpha Bean Fields. I was kind of reluctant to do that after I watched Bill's blog because he's got 180s running everywhere. And I was like, man, we could never live up to that. But we'll go give it a shot, see what we can see tonight. All right, here we go. Joe and I split up. Joe's going over to see if he can film that buck we're trying to name. Really nice deer. It'd be awesome if he films that buck tonight. And I'm going back to a spot I call Wyatt's Tree. I've got just a little bit of alfalfa back there, surrounded by corn. There's been a lot of bucks on camera back there, so hopefully we see a few of them. out here feeding about 80 or 100 yards out. It's been a little slower this afternoon than I expected. I've got a camera set up right here on this food plot and there's been several really good bucks in here but tonight seems a little slow. I think we've seen five does and well, just two bucks. 
Still better than Joe said it sounds like. He said he got into a mess of ticks, had like a thousand on him, so. I don't know if he went back to the car or what. We'll find out. <laughs>